Hello and welcome back to the channel We just had a bit of a break <laughs> But I'm back with good news If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this But <laughs> I bought a Honda Super Magna So I think I talked about it previously in a video That I absolutely love these things <laughs> And my god, it does not disappoint um, A bit about this, so you might notice there's nice shiny grips on it. I, I did get this bike on Friday. Today is Sunday. Um, and basically just before I brought it out and made a video on it, I wanted to make sure it was serviceable. So it does have uh, new grips. It has new brake um, pads and stuff. I've checked the fluids on the brake and the clutch. Um, they've been topped up with nice new fluid. I'll eventually... Uh, I'll eventually change them out fully um, I'm gonna put a new brake line on it the rear is a drum so no brake line necessary um, well there will be a new brake line on this and I need new throttle cables is it there's a bit of rust here and there nothing major um, but my god it sounds good originally a Japanese bike um, it was imported so this is a 1988 Honda Super Magna from the book but it's registered in Ireland in 1996 so that's something that I apparently can fix um, but I don't think I want to because it just makes it that bit different uh, so a bit about the bike the tank on it's pretty small um, and it is going to be a bit of a culture shock to me to have to watch my fuel without actually having a fuel gauge but I'm okay with that because this thing is fantastic I'll probably eventually also put a different bars on it, different indicators, uh, the gauges will stay stock because I love them, um, and the noise is fantastic, but a bit of work to be done, so front shocks, they need to be rebuilt, the rear shocks need to either be rebuilt or replaced, I'd, I'll do one or the other, I'm not sure which yet, um, the mirrors obviously have to go, I changed the grips, they were a bit ratty, um, new brake pads gone on, check the fluids, um, I still need to do the drive shaft fluid, um, but I will do that. So I hopefully have a spot where I can work on this bike a bit because I need to take some bits off it. Um, I'm also probably going to put on forward controls um, from, I can't remember their names now, it's like. Oh, that noise is addictive. Um, I can't remember the names, but I'll put a link in the description. You can get forward control. So, a bit about this bike itself. They were made for two years, 1987, 1988. This is the Honda VF750C Magna. So, it's a V4, 750cc. Um, four exhausts. Really cool look. They're kind of upswept. Not the handiest if you want to use the bike for anything practical, but... To be honest, I think this is just going to be my fun bike. The Phaser, uh, the other bike I have in the channel if you're new here, that's a practical bike. That's really practical, it has a fuel gauge, it's good on fuel, it's fast, it's comfortable. You know, it has a big tank, you can strap panniers onto it, you, you, you get what I mean. It's a practical bike. This, <laughs> it probably isn't practical, but my god, I love it already. Yeah, just listen to that oh it's fantastic it also has a really nice um, kind of burble when you let off the throttle I don't know is it coming through um, through the helmet mic but it does sound fantastic I'll try eventually maybe figure out a way to mic up the bike as you can see these words are like <laughs> they're completely pointless I don't know why that's doing that Oh, I got a new watch as well, uh, Garmin Instinct, because I broke my other one. So, the reason I've been away for a few weeks is I've had other stuff on. Um, I did a quest thingamajig in Kenmare. It was like an adventure race. That was fun. And then the weather wasn't so good, and I had other, other stuff on at weekends. So that's pretty much when I get to record at the moment. But the evenings are getting longer. 
so hopefully I'll be able to do more videos in the evenings I also have maintenance videos coming for the phaser that's getting new brake lines a couple of other bits and pieces so they'll be up if you've any interest in an FZ6 maintenance um, they'll be there you can have a look at them I was gonna do like a, a 100 subscriber uh, celebration but basically it hit 100 and then it went all there to 120 peaked to 130 and went back to 129 so I mean yay I, I'm, I'm extremely happy about it because my first 10 videos uh, and I haven't had one in a while now I, I, re I realize that but my first 10 I put a lot of work into them so that some people like them um, yeah it's good it's nice so thanks everyone if anyone's wondering by the way the jeans I have on because uh, I know I'm usually in textiles the jeans I have on are uh, hood motorcycle jeans h-o-o-d motorcycle jeans they're an English company and uh, I purchased these like I don't know two years ago a year and a half ago um, very happy with them really good quality haven't had any issues with them um, they're really comfortable got full cable air lining, l l lining? <laughs> lining all the way down to um, the ankles or yeah like mid calf and then knee armor hip armor so I think the knee armor and hip armor is extra uh, to actually buy I don't remember but if you are getting them I would recommend that because it's worth every penny if you do come off God, that noise is fantastic. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my phaser. I love my phaser to bits. Um, it's my first proper road bike, and it's been absolutely fantastic. I have no complaints, and I'll hopefully have it for a long time. But this thing, it just sounds so nice. And it's not the first cruiser I've ridden, but it's really flickable. I mean, it's it's really, really nice. Especially when you consider this thing is from 1988. It has 20,000 original kilometers on it, of which I've put like 200 of them on. So I bought it under 20,000 original kilometers. When I changed the pads this morning, um, they were the original factory pads still on the front disc. I mean, this thing is like... To me, this is, this is, I know it's not a new bike, but it's, it's my new bike. And it just sounds so damn good. Well, yeah, like, like I was saying, leaning it is fine. Uh, power is, power is there. I, I probably am missing a few horsepowers from age. But we'll investigate that and I'll let you know, do I find anything that needed to be fixed? But, as an introduction video, this is my Magna. Um, and if you plan on sticking around and watching videos of me, this is going to be sticking around. Probably forever. Also, I remember I looked this up on, uh, is it Motorcycle Ergo? I don't know, if you, if you Google Moto Ergo, uh, it's like the first result. If you go in, you can put in your, your height you're like inseam um, and, and you can select go through the bikes and it'll give you like a really good uh, indication of how you're gonna sit on it and I have to say I did it for this bike and it was bang on I am exactly sitting how Moto Ergo said I would so if you're looking for a bike and you're not sure how you're gonna sit on it look up there it, it, it'll give you a good indication like if you're a weird shape it might not be exact like my legs are a little bit shorter in comparison to my body than like a standard person my height um, I have a longer body but you know it lets you account for that mostly and I was pretty right but yeah if uh, if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen this bike because I couldn't contain myself um, and if you want to like get the, uh, I'm going to start trying to post on Instagram more because I probably don't do it enough so if you want like the inside scoop on things that are going to be happening with this bike and other bikes uh, follow me there same name, the Gorilla Biker 
if you have any interest. If not, don't worry about it. So now we are uh, back in Kinsale. You've been here before with me. When I did the Kinsale and Charles's Ford video. If you haven't seen that, go have a look. Because I won't be going to those places today. This is just a uh, this is this was just a ride for me. Introduced the bike to you guys. Um, I'll take some walk. I'll, I'll do a walk around of it at the very end of the video. Um, I'll take some pictures. But if you've watched, thanks for watching. Um, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more of this Magna or my Yamaha Phaser, which will also be looked at. Um, there's 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 lots of things to see on the channel. But mainly, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and hopefully you come back. So I'll see you next time on one of my bikes, because I have two now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.